people who might be on YouTube and watching. Uh, this is my first video on my third channel. I've made multiple channels before. And I kind of just wanted, like, a, a new channel. I had a really good name, Captain Wink. I mean, like, come on. Um, so, I was going to, you know, do something. So, I decided, after a while thinking what I should do for my first video, I decided I'd do something helpful. So, I decided I would start making, uh how to set up an ME system from uh, <coughs> from Applied Energistics. So this is going to be probably about three or four videos. This is the first one. Uh, it's a lot to set up and it's a lot to do. So I, I figured multiple videos is probably the best idea and then I have to do this whole intro thing. So yeah. Um, so I guess you should probably get into it. Oh, I thought, I thought this was a pink. Pigs are important. No, oh, you're not important. Okay, so uh, let's get let's get into it. So here's my setup over here. Let's get to the first thing. So so when you're setting up an ME, there's two things you're gonna need to find. First, there's two things you're gonna need to find: service quartz and charged service quartz. This is what service quartz looks like, like when you mine it. This is what charge looks like. It's slightly brighter, and the, or you can tell it's kind of sparkly stuff. You can see you can see the particles coming off of it. Um, you only need one of this because you can make more after that. So just get a bunch of this and find like one of this. So next thing you're gonna want to do is get to the net, go to the Nether, get some Nether quartz, go down mining and get some redstone. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your <coughs> charged service quartz, your redstone, and your nether quartz. And you're gonna make flux crystals when you throw them in the water. So I'm gonna demonstrate this. So here's the redstone, here's the charged service, here's the nether quartz. Give it a second. This is all you're going to need for um, the next step. So, let's move on. So, next thing here is the charger. So, how you're going to make this? You need two flux crystals and five iron ingots. Simply this shape. So, three here, two here, and the flux crystals here. And it makes a charger. You're also going to need to make a crank, wooden crank. I think you can make more cranks, but I'm not sure. Uh, you're going to need five sticks. Like so. Wooden crank. So, what you're going to do from here is you're going to go on the back. You're going to go on the back. You don't have to. I mean, like, anyway. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here, you have the charger set up. Some crystals in there. So, I'm just going to hold this down for a second. Hold on. Wait till you here. See how it lit up? And charge service quartz crystal. So that's how that's made. And yeah, let's move on. Next thing you wanna make is a grindstone. You're gonna need this for multiple things later on. So first thing you're gonna need to take four sticks like this and make a wooden gear. Then you're gonna make three cobblestone. <laughs> this sounds silly kinda, of, but put it in a furnace and three stone. You should know that, but I'm just going to tell you how to make it in case you don't. So, three stone, one wooden gear, two cobblestone, and four quartz. That's a lie. Three, three quartz, and like this, set up like this. And it can be certus, nether, or charged certus. Um, don't use charged. Uh, just because they're kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Nether, uh, Certus, they're okay, but I think you should use Nether. My most recommendation is my recommendation just because it's the cheapest to get. So, uh, and you make one. It makes one grindstone, and you put the crank in here, and yeah. So, let me show you the next step. 
So here we have this, and in here is one sort of quartz crystal. So I'm gonna hold this down. And since there's no way to watch here, it stopped, and I made sort of quartz dust. So that's gonna be important for a lot of things later. So now to move on. Oh, whoops, wrong part. <laughs> uh, here. So around the world, you're gonna find these big things called meteorites. They're really big, and they look like in a sphere shape. Of sky stone. That's how you'll know. In the center, so if you mine from the center top block, you should get the sky stone chest. Looks nice. Pick them up. Recommend. You have to mine it with at least a diamond pick. Well, you can mine it with under that, but it's fast. You, you will get the items with a diamond pick. Now, to make it easier to find these, if you can get if you can get some charged certus and four iron ingots like this, like so, you make a meteorite compass, and that's gonna be good. So, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Now, inside these chests, you're probably wondering, you can find calculation press, press, silicone press, logic press, and engineering press. This can't be crafted, they have to be found. So, you're probably going to need to look, find a few meteorites. Now, <laughs> for engineering, you need to diamond it. Put a diamond in with, um, uh, I'll show, I'm going to show it at the end of the tutorial uh, a logic press gets um, gets the <coughs> gold silicone from the, for the silicone press you can probably press and pure surface quartz from the calculation now obviously engineering diamonds just mine diamond with at least an iron pick gold for logic gold mine gold with the, at least an iron pick and then you can also melt it um, silicone. Now this is a more advanced thing. So what you're gonna do? Whoops. Is you're gonna take some sand and you put it in here like this, and this should be charged up, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And you get silicone. So it's from, it says it's from Endoro, but it'll still work. So come around. I'll come around here, and we'll make the next thing, or we'll show you how to make the sag mill. So. And that's what you need to make the, uh, the silicone the sack mill. So, <coughs> so you got for the first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need four copper or one copper, sorry, two redstone and four gold nuggets, like so. Makes a basic capacitor. Makes one of them. Next. You're going to take your ba basic capacitor. Uh, so, you're going to take your basic capacitor and um, your basic capacitor, four iron ingots, and four iron bars. Like so, makes a machine chassis. So, you're going to need that and makes one of them. So, <coughs> next, you're going to take one machine chassis. Three flint, four, and one piston, like so, and you'll make a sag. There's your sag mill. Now you're probably wondering this chest, this trap door. Is. Let's go down, and you'll see. So let's get out. And so I'm gonna show you how to power this thing. So first thing, you're gonna need your you need a sag mill. A capacitor bank, some coal, and a coal generator. You can use other generators. This is from extra utilities, but um, I just use extra utilities. There's tons of other generators. Survival is the easiest to make. So, so capacitor bank. Whoa, what? Da, da da da. Wrong, wrong one. There's a. Come. There, this one is the one you want to make, the basic, and it's made like so. So, what you do is you place down the basic capacitor bank, sag mill on top, survival generator facing that way. Well, you don't have to, but that's how I would do it. And throw some coal in here. It'll start going in here, and then it'll go to here and get power. So, that's how you do that. Now we're moving on to the last. If I will get it. And 
man. <clears throat> so, you're gonna need to craft this, which is an inscriber. So, <clears throat> two sticky pistons, one fluix crystal, and five iron. Like, I can use pure fluix crystal, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but I just recommend fluix this pure cake for to make. So, here, I'm gonna show you what to do with this. So here we have a silicone inscriber press, an engineering inscriber press, calculation. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do all of these. We're going to put all these in. So it's silicone, and it has a really cool animation. Just give it a second. Yeah. And there's power back here, and I'm going to show how to do those things next episode. So, diamond. Ready, 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 ready. ready. Gold. Crest. And pure Sirtis. Good unk. So these should make printed silicone. <laughs> printed engineering circuit. A printed lock circuit. And a printed calculation circuit. And we'll use these for later things. Now, um, I did. I think I might have forgotten to mention that the the calculation for next episode, or next video, just because um, it's it, it's really kind of really hard to get the uh, pure pure uh, pure crystals. So, uh, yeah. So, uh. <laughs> this is the beginning. I'm gonna make some more later. Just don't stay tuned. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a whole series. It's gonna be really hope. Hopefully, it's gonna be fun. And you're gonna learn how to make an ME system. And I'll probably continue with the and just that. I mean, I might. I don't. I'm not promising anything. So, thanks for watching. Um. Oh yeah, there is a mod pack, which. I mu if I remember, I will link in, link in the description called Tushi. Don't ask. I didn't make up the name. Uh, it's spelled T O O S H I, just in case. It has applied energistics, um, <coughs> all the uh, extra utilities, Ender IO, all these things. That's the mod pack I'm using right now to do this. So I'll put it in the description if I remember. Check it out. Uh, it's it's a really great mod pack. I like playing it. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you enjoyed, please uh, a like would be very much appreciated. All of the whole, you know, if you want to see some more content, subscribe, everything like that. It's the random things, you know. Subscribe, more content, blah 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 blah. So, yeah. So. And this is Captain Oink, swining out.